What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Nyla and this is my YouTube channel Makeup and Reads. On this channel I'll be talking about makeup and books sometimes together, sometimes apart from each other. You can come to my channel to look for both of these types of content. Today what I'm going to do is the makeup and book tag. Is that the name of it? Yes, it's the makeup book tag. <laughs> I feel like we should just jump right into it. The first question is for Primer. Name a book that had a lasting impression on you. I think for this, I'm gonna have to go with The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Thomas, uh, that book had a profound impact on me. I really strongly associate it with the main character, especially with like her double identity crisis. Also, and the primer that I'm using is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. 1010 would recommend. The next question is for a foundation. Name your favorite first book in a series. Ooh, I think I'm going to have to go with uh, Witch and Wizard. I really enjoyed Witch and Wizard when I was younger. I still have a connection to that book. I've read the first book over and over again. I don't remember much about the second and the third book, but um, I plan on reading the whole entire series over this year, but I know the first book enraptured my little teen soul, so. I also kind of forgot to talk about the foundation that I was using. It's the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation, and it's in the shade for .05. It's my favorite foundation, my go-to foundation, and I pretty much don't use anything else other than this. It made me really happy, especially the friendship between the sister and the brother. I just realized I didn't really give a synopsis for Witch and Wizard. It's basically kind of like a dystopian type of novel. This witch and wizard are attacked by the New Order because their very existence, I believe, threatens the, the New Order of things. So they have to go on the run and then they're part of this prophecy. I don't know if I should say anything else because I'm not sure that I can continue to describe it without giving out spoilers. It's a really good series and I feel like it, it could be good for all ages too. So the next question is for concealer. Name a character that you want to get rid of. So, so, <laughs> so, okay. It's Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I have such a love-hate relationship with that series. I'm definitely the type of person who loves characters and relationships and stuff like that more than plot. That book is actually one that I kept reading solely for the plot. I can't stand 90% of the characters, maybe 100% actually. I finished reading Caraval and did it like anyone but Donatella. I finished reading Legendary and did it like anyone at all. So I guess my final answer is gonna be Scarlet because I hate Scarlet more than Donatella. The concealer that I'm using is NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer and this is in the shade Amand. Amande? Amand? The next question is for powder. Name your favorite last book in the series. I wrote down like five different possibilities. Honestly, two are like really high up there and that's Deathly Hallows from the Harry Potter series and Mockingjay from the Hunger Games series. I don't... I actually have to think about it because I also really liked Catching Fire. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take Mocking Jay back and just say the Deathly Hallows. The Deathly Hallows was super impactful. I don't agree with everything that happens in Deathly Hallows. Like, why did you have to send all of Slytherin House to the dungeons? Not one person in Slytherin House is good. JK Rowling real life had a grudge. <laughs> but anyway, back to the video. 
This is the powder that I'm going to use. It is the Black Radiance True Complexion Soft Focus Finishing Powder. And I literally just sweep this all around like the perimeter of my face. I love how this powder looks. It makes my skin look so flawless. And I just love it. It's so nice. Next one's blush. Name a cringy romance. Ugh. How about every romance in Caraval and Legendary? How about every romance in the Fifth Wave series? How about every romance in the Hush Hush series? You know what? Don't get me started on this. I could go on forever. The blush that I'm going to be using today is this ColourPop Super Shop Cheek. Wow, that's a tongue twister, in the shade Cheerio. So I'm just gonna... Ah! Um, I just, I, I can try to stick it back together, but it's not fitting. We're gonna try our best. Next question is highlighter, which is my favorite. Name a book that brightens your day. Ooh, uh, oh, something's in my eye. Ah! I'm gonna go with Queens of Geek for this answer. Queens of Geek is about this group of friends and one of them's kind of like, like internet famous and they go to this con in America, but they're from Australia. One of the main characters, Taylor I believe, has anxiety and another one of the main characters who I believe is Charlie is bisexual, which I love the representation there. Like, yes. I listened mainly to the audiobook and I really, really enjoyed the audiobook. 1010 would recommend again. So <laughs> I literally just start thinking about H2O. Well, the highlighter that I'm gonna use today is the Artist Couture X Jackie Ina collab. Jackie, 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 Jackie. I probably shouldn't have been shaking this up because this is gonna be a mess. <laughs> oh my god. I still, I have no idea why I'm acting like I'm surprised or shocked by the traffic light, the beam. Of course, I have a pimple right in my little highlight region, but we'll be okay, I guess. And voila, the base is done. So next, we're gonna move on to eyebrows, finally. And we're going to talk about a book that everyone should read. I think I'm going to say Sadie. Summers. Sadie is such a unique book. The character has a stutter, which is really interesting to hear when listening to the audiobook. And it's written in like a podcast format. We'll hear the podcast kind of like in the present and we'll to chapters with Sadie in the past and how she catches up to her sister's killer. Or my, I love how I just knocked down the whole camera. Sorry if anything shifted. So anyways, back to my eyebrows. I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade five. I don't think you're going to see most of the process of me doing my eyebrows, so I think I'll just come back when they're done. No, mm -mm. I'm not going down like this. Here we go. They're sisters, not twins. So well, the next question is for eyeshadow. Name a book with your favorite colors on the cover. So this one was really hard for me because I love rainbows. Like I love all colors. So for this, I actually chose a multicolored series and that is the Crazy Rich Asian series. By I don't know much about those books. I like to go into books semi-blind so that I can give myself a greater opportunity to enjoy the book. We're gonna go into eyeshadow. This is what I looked like a couple days ago when I tried to film this video. Oh. 
but I'm not gonna attempt that again because it took forever and editing was a pain in the ass. So I'm just going to go with one of my go-to eyeshadow looks and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Eyeshadow Palette. Pat that all over my eyelid. I try not to like wipe too much. I'm really focusing on patting this down so that I don't get too much fallout. <laughs> I forgot to talk about the specific colors that I was using. So the one that's all over my eyelid is this shade right here called Axis. Um, the one that um, I blended out right above that, the lighter shade, is a mix of Roxy and New Wave. And the shade that is in my inner corner is Edge. This is the third time, no, the fourth time that my camera fell. I promise you the first thing that I'm getting is a tripod and maybe a real life video camera. But anyway, this is the finished eye makeup look. I'm also gonna invest in lights because I don't really think it's coming off as vibrant on camera as it is in person. The next question is for eyeliner. Name a dark and mysterious book. My answer for this one is A Woman in the Window by AJ Finn, I believe. The A Woman in the Window is about a woman, I believe she lives by herself. She just starts observing her neighbors and one day she observes something serious and it may not be the way it seems. For eyeliner, I'm going to go with the, who shoot. This is the bottle, by the way. I believe this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Liner, but I rubbed all the words off, so YOLO, we're going in. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I don't think they look exactly the same. I'm gonna go ahead and claim sisters, not twins again. So the next question is for, for mascara. Pick a long book. So the longest book that I have on my shelves right now is actually two books in one, which might be cheating, but it's physically one book, so I'm gonna go with it. It's Flowers in the Attic and Petals in the Wind. Um, I don't know if I can give an accurate description of this off the top of my head. There is some incesty things within this book. I haven't read it, I just know about it. I have been kind of steering clear of it. I'm kind of scared as to how like real it's gonna be, but I guess we'll see. And the mascara that I'm using is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. The final question, and this is for lipstick. And this is your favorite book kiss. Hold on, wait just one second. Okay, and that's it. And I'm trying my hardest to finish the Dark Artifices series before Chain of Gold comes out. But I think I can do it, I think I can do it. I actually don't think I'm feeling lipstick right now, so I'm going to put on lip gloss because I love lip gloss. And I'm gonna take this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Secret Weapon, and I'm just going to put it straight on. With these lip glosses, you can either get a really sheer coverage so that it looks like this and doesn't have a lot of color, or you can keep layering it up so the color becomes a little bit more opaque. All right, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. I am very excited to be a part of BookTube and I hope you guys are excited to have me. So yeah, see you guys later. <laughs>